Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to explain how to stop Camtasia from crashing. Look, Camtasia is a wonderful screen capture and video editing tool, but it's always had one big problem. It crashes. Sometimes a lot. We've used Camtasia for the, well, more than a decade now, starting with Camtasia 6. And it's often said that consumers should avoid the first generation of a product. And it's often said that people should avoid Microsoft products, you know, big company, uh, until version 3. But nobody should expect that after 20 years, Camtasia would be so unstable. Now, in fairness to Camtasia developer, a company called TechSmith, video editing is likely the most intensive thing that non-gamers will ever do with their computer. Video editors like Camtasia use all of the computer's resources and push it to the limit. But that's really no excuse for things like Camtasia not giving you a full crash analysis and telling you why they crashed and suggesting fixes and and also the terrible tech, tech support on these crashes. Okay, now that we have that off our chest, let's get to stopping Camtasia from crashing. We're going to break this into three different categories. Firstly, trying to stop Camtasia from crashing when you're exporting a video. Secondly, we're going to uh, explain how to stop Camtasia from crashing when you're editing a video. And lastly, just a bunch of general stuff. Okay, so let's get into stopping Camtasia when you're exporting a video. The number one thing, and I would say in my experience, this accounts for about 70% of the problems, so a lot of them, is hardware assistance. So this is easy to fix. What you want to do is click Edit, go down to Preferences, go over to Advanced, and right here, where it's got hardware acceleration, change it from your video card to use software only. That will make your encoding slower, but it probably won't crash. Really helps to do that. Second thing is use the batch process. Now, this is something we pulled from a forum. We had never used this before. Uh, in older versions, it's under tools, but in uh, 2022, it's under file, batch production. And all you do here is click add files. Well, actually, the first thing you do is make sure you don't have anything open. Well, I do here because I'm just giving you an example. But if I was actually trying to use this, I'd make sure I had nothing open here. Anyway, then go into add files, add your project, and just click next to it. That's pretty easy. Another thing, if you go into export right now, you probably click export to local file. But you can also go into export legacy local file. And that's the old uh, interface. And sometimes videos can run through this process that wouldn't run through the new process. Now, something we've noticed, if you have a piece of video that you have added a clip speed to, so you go over here and set it, say, 50 times, we have found that by watching the CPU and GPU that Camtasia seems to sometimes really struggle with this. Surprisingly, checking in a forum or two, we found that other people said that they had pretty good success by just changing that number. Maybe set it to 45 or some other number that's less. And the last thing to do is to break your video into segments. Now this is going to suck, but if you've spent hours or days or sometimes even weeks uh, editing something, yeah, you're just going to have to suck it up. Here's an example. So the way to do that is to say take half of your video, cut it, and then export the first half and then go back and export the second half and then put them together and save them as a project. That seems to help with a lot of people. Okay, the next thing is how to stop Camtasia from crashing when editing a video. The first thing we've noticed is Camtasia doesn't seem to like some compressions, so we have to change them. We use a little tool called Virtual Dub to do that. Let's uh, show you how to do that. Virtual Dub's free, by the way. You take your video, which in this case was recorded on a Samsung Galaxy phone, and it's pretty straightforward. What you do is, well, you don't have to do this, but we set it to 6% just so we can see the video, but you don't have to. Anyway, then go into Video and Compression and click on XVID, change it to, to a different compression. We suggest XVID, it works quite well. And then just click File, Save as AVI, and it will create, well, the exact same file, but in a different compression. And hopefully Camtasia will like it better. The next thing is to clean up your temporary files. So first thing, drill into C, users, your name, and then app data. And if you don't see app data, what you need to do is go into the view menu at the top here. Just double click on it if it's not there. Always make sure file name extensions is turned on. It's off by default. And uh, just because Microsoft it says it's prettier without it, but it's a terrible idea. Anyway, and hidden items should be on as well. Anyway, then drill into local and go into your temp folder in here. Now, I already cleaned mine out a short while ago, so there's not going to be a whole lot here. 
and then press Control A and the delete key on your keyboard and all of the files that are not in use will go away. Now, again, I've already done this, so mine's cleaned out already. Yours probably isn't. Another place to clean out is C Windows Temp. So go into C Windows Temp and gun this. Everything that's in here should be cleaned out. Yours will no doubt be full of junk. Hundreds to thousands of files here. Just again, press Control A, press the Delete key, and get rid of them. Now, I already did this, so they're not there for me. Anything that's in use, yeah, don't worry about it. Just click Skip. Do this for current items. Click Skip, and they'll stay. There you go. Okay, now you might think you're done. Not even close. So uh, what you've got to do now is go into your temporary files that Camtasia itself is using. And that's under Edit, Preferences, Advanced, right here. Anything in this folder, you should delete. Now, in my case, I've moved it to my Downloads folder. Yours will no doubt be somewhere else. But anything that's in there, you should probably delete. It's probably just junk. And you think, now we're done. No, you're not. Go into any of your media, right-click on it, and select Open File Location, and you'll find that it actually stores its all of its files, screen recordings, I shouldn't say its files, but all of its screen recordings in C, Users, Your Name, then your Documents, and then the Camtasia folder. Now, this is a new computer, so I don't have that much on here. But for a lot of people, there will be years and years and years worth of just junk here. Get rid of it. Get rid of all of these TREC files. These are all your old screen recordings. So unless you need them because you haven't produced something yet, get rid of them. They're just junk. And then right click on your recycle bin and select empty recycle bin. Make sure everything's gone that you just dumped. Then power the machine down or restart it. Logging off is not sufficient. We want to start this from scratch, get it clean. Okay, now we're on to the third uh, section, which is how to make Camtasia more stable in general. This is the kind of stuff you get from tech support that kind of drives you crazy, but I can tell you from working in tech support for about 30 years, these things actually work. So eh, don't knock it. First thing, reboot your computer, like we just said. Don't just log off, shut it down. Okay, pretty straightforward, but a lot of people don't do it before they phone support. Second thing, Upgrade versions of Camtasia. Because there are so few improvements in Camtasia versions, we typically upgrade every two or three versions. That's every four, maybe five years. Next thing, update your video card drivers. So go off to your manufacturer like Dell or HP and grab the most current drivers for your product. Just drill it to support, go find your drivers. Run a Windows update. Get your machine clean. That's good common sense. Get it out of the way, get it tidied up. Next thing, this is a little counterintuitive, update your computer's BIOS or firmware. And you might think, well, what does that have to do with anything? Well, the vast majority of you are probably not using add-on video cards. You're probably using the integrated video from either your AMD or Intel CPU. So the video is controlled through the CPU and the CPU is largely controlled through the BIOS. Update your BIOS, update the firmware. Second last thing, and this sucks. If you're really stuck, update your video card. When I say update, I mean replace it with something newer. You can't do that on a laptop or an all-in-one like the computer I'm working on, but you can do it on a desktop PC. And the last thing you can try is to call tech support. Now that's with TechSmith for Camtasia and you know, good luck with that. All right, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. Super helpful with the Google algorithms and always appreciated if you click subscribe as well. If you want to get a hold of us, you can do that at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can always leave a comment below and somebody will get back to you because it's YouTube. Everybody's got a comment. So we really hope this helped you. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.